Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install RHL 9.5 on VirtualBox. Go to RHL official website that is developers.redhat.com Click on products, then click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux under this Linux section. Then click on download and setup, sign up. If you scroll down, scroll down for all downloads see here we have the beta the latest stable version is rhl 9.5 and see here we have the boot is1 dvd is1 but the installation process for both boot is1 dvd is1 are same so click on download this boot is1 click on it now we have to log in with gmail account or with create a new account so if you don't have account click on here for see click on register for a red hat account then you have to provide these details okay you have to provide all these details i have already created login in your case create login and sign in for sign in to download i'm going to log in with my credentials Wait a moment, see download has been started, go to downloads, see its size is about 11 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded RHL 9.5 DVD ISO, see here, ok. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open Oracle VM virtual box. If you haven't installed Oracle VM virtual box on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Open virtual box. See here, we have the Oracle VM virtual box. See, I have one virtual machine that is Debian 12. Okay, so to create new virtual machine for RHL 9, we have to click on this new button or then select the machine and select new both are same then provide the name for the virtual machine so i am giving rhl95 vmo then select the folder where we want to store this virtual machine files and folders click on drop down for okay with this one it will store all files here but if you want specific location click on other then select the path where you have the enough space create new folder give the name hit enter click open select the folder then here select the iso image then select the other then go to downloads where you have the iso file see i have dvd iso here so open it then see here once you selected type as selected as linux subtype as red hat and version red hat 64 bit okay and select this skip an untied net installation otherwise it will install automatically so we have to select this one for manual installation then hardware by default it has selected 2 gigabytes i am giving that is ram i am giving 4 gigabytes then number of cpu processes i am giving 2 then hard disk size by default it has selected 20 gigabytes i am giving 100 gigabytes then if you are okay with all these settings then click on finish once we click on finish then also we will be able to edit these options so click on finish select virtual machine from this list and click on settings see here we can edit okay these are the list of the options or right click and select settings or select it here and machine and select settings all three options are same if you are ok with all these settings then click on start or right click and select start and normal start ok so click on start use up and down arrows and select the first option that is install red hat enterprise linux 9.5 and hit enter Select language and 
click on continue see here the begin installation has been grayed out why because whatever the options that are marked with red color must be filled then only we will be able to click on this begin installation okay click on this installation destination i am okay with the default one see suppose you can select of these options like software selection see here we have the options like server with ui server minimal install workstation custom operating system and virtualization host i am going with the first one that is server with gui okay then click on done then we have to set the root user password click on it then provide the password i don't want to lock root account so keep all as it is then click on done see now we are able to click on begin installation okay so click on begin installation see installation has been started i am going to pause this video until whenever it will ask us to reboot the system the installation has been completed now click on reboot system now click on start setup click on next skip online accounts now we have to create a user so provide user full name and click on next then provide the password for this user then click on next all done click on start using red hat enterprise linux no thanks now we have to click on this register system then we have to provide the username that we have used to download rhl9 so in this video we have seen how to download and install rhl9.5 on virtualbox for more linux tutorials please subscribe my channel thank you